Where does your battle come from? Every time we face battles, spiritual battles, financial battles, social battles, battles in the family, battles in our health, battles in our dreams, battles have got an origin. We don't just fall into battles. Battles of an origin. If you can address the origin, then you can minimize the battles. I don't want to guarantee a Christianity without battles. Christianity is a battle front. We fight for our promotions. We fight for our good health. We fight for good marriage. We fight for ministry. We fight for success. Since the days of John the Baptist, until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent taken by force. They are not given. They take it by force. This is a battlefront. Ladies and gentlemen, I came to announce to you, your battles are not about to end. I say your battles are not about to end. They might reduce, but they are not coming to an end. Tell your neighbor, brace yourself. Look at someone, tell them, brace yourself for battles. We fight with the powers, with the principalities, with the forces, with the arguments. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. And sometimes we ask ourselves, why do I have to go through what I am going through? One day my wife said to me, Why must we fight all the time? I told her because life is a battle. Look at your neighbor, tell them life is a battle. When you were born, there were many of you in the womb and only the one who made it became a fetus and a baby. And that is you. You won, you won against millions. That tells me you are a fighter. I say that tells me you are a fighter. And if you won in your mother's womb, you shall win in this life. I say you shall win in this life. Any battle coming your way, I pity those who are fighting you because greater is he who is in you than him who is in the world. Say, I am a fighter. Say, I am a fighter. That's why. Those people who make it in incurable diseases, they are called survivors. They fought. Marriage is a battle. Business is a battle. Your next level is a battle. Let's read together. The Bible says, Jeremiah 119. They will fight. 
Jesus Christ. Yesu Christ. They will fight now, against you. Now you got your neighbor, tell them, welcome to battle. And even if you don't like battles, the devil does not like you. So anyway, you must know what I'm going to teach today will help you to understand life is a battle. Ministry is a battle. Family is a battle. Success is a battle. Career is a battle. To raise your children is a battle. To make it in ministry is a battle. In what God has my father. In every battle, I seek for your help. May you help me, Lord, that I shall overcome. They will fight against you. Now what are we gonna now? But. Lakini. They shall not prevail against you. How are you going to do it? Shada bo shata yada. Otesha mali sema witchcraft. Sema witchcraft. Premature death. Poverty. Sickness. Wickedness. Divorce. Witchcraft. You cannot overcome me. You cannot prevail against me. Poverty. Get out of my way. Premature death. Get out of my way. Failure. Get out of my way. Clap your hands to Jesus, somebody. They will. So when you see battle, don't fear. The Lord sent me to Mombasa this week to tell you don't fear battles. Don't fear battles. Don't fear battles. You remember Shama here last night. He defended the field. Don't fear battles. When demons come, rise up and fight. When people come, rise up and fight. When powers come, rise up and fight. When principalities come, rise up and fight. When sickness come, rise up and Rise up and fight. You know I'm going to say my father. Anoint me. For battles. We have a generation. That does not know war. Bible says in Exodus 13.17. There was a shortcut from Egypt to Canaan. But God did not allow them to take the shortcut. Shortcut will cut you short. He allowed them to take the longer route so that bring it up verse 17 he allowed them to go through the long route so that those who did not know battles might know how to fight there are things God will allow Exodus 13 verse 17 things God will allow Exodus. You are in Genesis. Give us Exodus. Then it came to pass when Pharaoh let the people go that God did not lead them by the way of the land of the Philistine. Although that was nearer, it was a shortcut. For God himself said, lest perhaps these people change their minds when they see war. And go back to Egypt. Verse number 18. He led them. 
This was not the devil. It was God. He led the people around the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. They were fighting. And they went in order. Battles will put your life in order. Vita, vita weka yako kwa Have you seen women who never fought? Je wake hawajawai Have you kigana? seen men who have not fought? Je they kigana? think Uwa they are kigia. entitled. But when you fight for it, you would you will treasure it. When you fight for it, you pay the price because your fight is not in vain because your fighting is teaching you something. It is See me, show me a lady who has been paying the price on her knees. Show me a man who has been paying the price. And I will show you a man. I will show you a woman who will treasure what they have. Judges chapter 1. Wamuzi sura ya kwanza. Bible says verse number 2. Biblia inasema katika mstari wa pili. As one says. Mstari wa kwanza unasema. When Joshua died. Ikawa baada ya kufa kwake Yoshua. The children of Israel. Wana wa Israeli. Began to ask. Wakamuuliza. Who is going to go ahead of us? Ni nani atakayekwea kwanza? We are in a dilemma. We are in fear. Who shall go first against the Canaanites to fight against them? Now, and God understands the language of battles. In every family, there is a Judah. Who is raised to go first? May you be that Judah. May you be that Judah. I say, may you be that Judah. You shall go first. You shall go first and break the verge of poverty and destroy the power of witchcraft. Destroy the power of ignorance. May you be the Judah of your mother's house. May you be the Judah of your community. In who I'm going to say, my father, anoint me to fight. The Judah of every family has got some privileges. As God blesses you for others, He blesses you more. May you be the Judah of our generation. May you be the Judah of your village. May you be the Judah of your community. May you be the Judah of your mother's house. Say, Father, I am ready to pay the price and the fight. Judah. Us two. Study what Pili. Judah. Judah. The Lord said. Wana Kasema. Judah. Judah. Who go up? Atakwe. Atakwe. Indeed, I have delivered the land. Haswa ni meitia ile inchi mikononi. Into his hands. Mikononi mwaki. Let Judah go. He is a fighter. He is not a coward. Judah. 
does not complain when he sees battle. That's why salvation came from the tribe of Judah. That's, that's why David was from the tribe of Judah. That's why the church belongs to the tribe of Judah. I announce to you with my eyes open, you shall not fear battles. I say you shall not fear battles. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall rise up a standard because you are a fighter. Keep on fighting. Keep on fighting. I have never seen a pregnant woman. Saying she doesn't want the pregnancy. If she doesn't want the pregnancy, then she doesn't want a baby. But as long as she wants a baby, she must pay the price. Your greatness is hidden in your battles. We must stop this foolishness. When Christians face battles, they want to quit. We are not going to quit. I say we shall not quit. When the enemy comes in like a flood, we shall stand strong. When we are tested in our faith, we shall fight all. Tell your neighbor, fight all. Judges chapter 2, verse 1. Angel of the Lord. Came up from Gilgal to Bochin. And he said, I led you up from Egypt. I'm brought here to the land which I saw to your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. As number two. You shall make no other covenant. This battle has got terms and conditions. That's why I want to show you the sources of your battles. Chapter 3 verse 1. It is says, at this time in Judges, these are the nations with the Lord left why did he leave them? Read it for me. That he might test Israel by them. That is, yani, all who had not known any, huh? who had not known war. Christianity is a battle. For you to live a holy life. It's a battle. For you to pray. It's a battle. For your marriage to work. It's a battle. For you to succeed. It's a battle. God left some nations. Not because he hated them. some opponents and some people will be planted. Not because God hates you. But because God wants to teach you war. Somebody say, I am a fighter. Second Samuel chapter 3. Samuel wapili. There was a long war. There was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. Not one year. Not two years. 
David was anointed by Samuel to become king over Israel. It took him a good 13 years. Seven years. He was in charge of Judah. Six more years. He became the king. 13 years of fighting. Did God anoint him? Did the prophet say? Did he kill Goliath? But why 13 years? What you do not fight for, you will never value. Take that to the bank. If you get it easy, you will lose it easily. You have to fight for it. People want to be comfortable. In mediocrity. But wastani. for you to go to another level. There is a price to pay. Kuna garama ya kulipa. Persecution is real. Udhia ni halisi. The hatred is real. Uchuki ni halisi. The opposition is real. Pinga mizi ni halisi. The battles are real. Vita ni halisi. There was a war. The Bible says a long war. Your mother's house will take the baton in the community if you fight. There are forces. Some of them, some of your angles, some of your aunties, some of your steps when you come to Kesha, Ukija Mkesha, they cross Isbania. Wanavuka Isbania. They go to Mwingi. Wanaenda Mwingi. They cross Lunga Lunga. Wanavuka Lunga Lunga. To get witchcraft. Kupata uchawi. And then you come here. Na basi unakuja hapa. And your prayer. Na maombi yako. You are trying to practice vocabulary with prayer. <laughs> Unajaribu kufanyisha kazi misamiati na maombi. Father. Baba. You understand me na? Unanielewa. You have no idea. Haujui. That which is eating you up. Yule mchawi anakukula. Is serious. Anamaanisha. You must learn to sweat. Lazima ujikunisha. You must learn to sweat. Lazima ujikunisha. You must learn to fight. Lazima ujikunisha. You must pay the price. Lazima ulipe. Deny yourself some food. Offer some sacrifice. Get deeper. Tell your neighbor, get deeper. Get deeper. There was a long war. And the house of Saul fought with the house of David. The Bible says the house of David grew stronger and stronger. And the house of Saul grew and weaker. I want to announce in the spiritual realm. Let the battle continue. Let the battle continue. We are not begging the enemy to stop it. Let the battle continue. Let the battle continue. Are the battle continue. Are you ready, JCC? Let the battle continue. I say, let the battle continue. The house of David will become stronger. Why the house of Saul will get weaker and weaker. In what I'm going to say, my father, let the battle continue. Give me grace to fight through. Are you sure? 
Uko na uhakika. Are you sure? Uko na uhakika. You want the battle to continue. Unataka vita viendelee. Yes. Are you sure? Uko na uhakika. You are not going to begin calling us at midnight. Hautaanza kutupigia simu saa sita usiku. Man of God. Mtu wa Mungu. Akulaliki wanatembea juu ya mabati let the battle continue wacha vita viendelee man of god mtu wa mungu pastor reynard mchungaji reynard mapaka yanalia kama watoto kuna la soprano na la alto let the battle continue let the battle continue go to five people tell them let the battle continue Simama ambia mtu wacha vita iendelee. Wacha vita iendelee. Angalia mtu mwambie wacha vita iendelee. Kasonge kasonge. Kasonge kasonge. Ha! 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 Let the battle continue. Saudia They thought you were backsliding. Walifikiria unarudi nyuma. Because your auntie visited you the last time. Kwa sababu auntie yako alikutembelea wakati uliopita mashangazi yako. And they told you. Na wakakwambia. Udwaga ine kwa area. Na wagoma. Na ukasikia wakijaribu kukuelezea vile unahitaji pia ujisaidie. Miaka imesonga. Oh. Unajua unaelewa. Let the battle continue. Wacha vile vita viendele. Let the battle continue. Wacha vita viendele. Wamekuwa wakijaribu kukuroga. Let the battle continue. Let the battle continue. Sambo say let the battle continue. We are not even going to give up. Let the battle continue. I say let the battle continue. Your battles. Your battles. Of God a deadline. You can't fight forever. Hawezi kupigana milele. You can't. Hawezi. Psalms 1:14 verse 5 Zaburi ya 114 mstari wa 5 Let me say Daudi anasema You What The streams is asking the streams of water Anauliza um, eh, vijito vya maji The rivers Mito Ni nini Huwa inawasumbua Ni nini huwasumbua lakini Psalms 1:14 Zaburi ya 114 mstari wa 4 Tabaka shida bahasha Jesus Yes The mountains keep Milima iliruka Like rams Kama kondoo The little hills Milima Like lambs Look at verse 5 Kondoo angalia mstari wa 5 What hails you Eh bahari Una nini Ni nini huwa inakukula inakusumbua Sijui kama umewahi kuangalia bahari ikiwa iwezi kutulia maana kuna kitu inaikula kitu inaikula malaika wa Mungu akamuuliza aga Genesis 21 verse 17 aga aga what hates you nini kinakukula you see your problem is not what you are going to eat wajua shida yako si kile utakula your problem is why is it eating you shida yako ni kwa nini kinakukula there are things that eat christianity kuna vitu ambavyo vinakula ukristo there are things that eat business kuna vitu ambavyo vinakula biashara they eat marriage vinakula ndoa they eat careers vinakula taaluma they eat profession vinakula utaalamu why are they eating it kwa nini vinakula and god are the voice of the boy mungu akasikia sauti then the angel of god called to aga malaika bwana kutoka mbinguni akamuita hagai he said to her akamwambia what ails you una nini hajiri My prayer today 
is God to help you to understand the source of your battles. Why? Where is it coming from? Ugomvi kila siku. Ugomvi kila siku. When you treat symptoms, ukitibu ishara, you don't cure the disease. Hauponyi yale maradhi. You must get to the bottom of the matter. Lazima ufike kwenye shina la jambo. Ukopa kila wakati. Umekopa mshwari uliza mkopotala paka ile ya juzi ya asla fani ushaja can I tell you there are people who have never borrowed ni kuambie kuna watu hawajawahi kuwa never kama and it is not because they don't have needs na si kwa sababu hawana mahitaji but it is because people are in different levels. May God deliver you from financial struggles. I say may Jehovah deliver you from family struggles. May my father deliver you from struggles of sickness, from struggles of compromise, from struggles of joblessness. I can conspire Jeremiah 11 verse 2 Wanaweza kuunda jama Yeremia 11 mstari wa 2 And the plan Mipango What verse number 9 Mstari wa 9 Aha hushika hasaya And the Lord said to me Bwana akasema A conspiracy has been found among the men Fitina imeonekana katika watu Judah. Wa Judah. 